Hi, I'm Madame Eileen. We're going to make a wee little robot. I came up with this robot when I was doing a race car. So I only need a third of this chrome silver balloon. And I only need air in the very tip. So I'm going to stretch and pull just that tip area that I want to put a little puff in. Once I have that, I get my electric inflator. I slide the balloon down as much as I can on my inflator. And then I cut my hand lightly around the balloon. So when I put air in, the air will want to go to, oops, that did not work there. Let me hold it down a little more firmly. There it is. Hold it firm so just a little bit of air can pass through. And the first thing that will inflate is the part that was stretched. Now that I have this, it's a poodle puff tail. I tie a knot in to keep the air in there. And now I take my full. Here it is. Here's my full 260. And I'm going to only one third of the way. Huge tail because there's going to be a lot of twist in this. I'm going to tie this. First, we're going to make the head. If I'm wondering, when I put it in too much, I'm trying to decide where I want, how much of this I'm going to have sticking out of the head. So I'm going to cut this a little bit there. Okay, so how big you make the head, that's how much is going to eat the top of your food or puff. So this is what we have. I push, this is a, a tulip twist. Some people like to call it a marriage twist because they're joining two balloons. I keep it simple. I just call it all a tulip twist. Now you're going to want to do two tiny pinch twists. Not even an inch in size, just tiny. One inch. So there's one. And now I'm going to do another one inch bubble. I'm going to pinch twist that one. This makes the neck of our robot. Now I line up and roll the main balloon in between those pinch twists and center it. There's our head. Now we're going to make arms. So you're going to make another tiny one inch bubble followed by a tiny bubble that's a little smaller than that. That's the elbow. Another tiny bubble. That's the forearm. And now you're going to do two tiny bubbles. You're going to twist those two tiny bubbles together. You're going to take your main balloon with a finger on each of those pinch twists that you, or bubbles that you just made. You're going to turn them to pinch twists by pinching this and pulling it forward to the center of those two bubbles. And then we're going to roll. We're going to roll it like that around one of the bubbles. And that will automatically do a nice, super tight pinch twist. Now, this next bubble doesn't matter the size because it's a spacer bubble. We're going to pop that. Now I'm going to do two tiny bubbles. Just like we just did, twist those two bubbles together so they're held tight. Now I'm going to pinch the main balloon, pull it up into the top of those two bubbles, and then I'm going to grab and roll and let it follow its lead as it goes around one of those pinch twists. Now we have two hands of our robot. Now we need the little arm. A little bubble for the elbow, 
a little bubble. And now this connects to the neck. I'm going to compare. Let's see. So arm. There's the arm. There's the elbow. There's the hands. All right. Yep. I got all the pieces together. Connected back here under the first two pinch twists under the head. Now I'm going to do a little bubble. That's the robot's torso. Now we're going to do the robot's leg. We're going to do two pinch twists by doing two bubbles of the same size. These are not the same size. Same size. Twist them together. Try to twist them together. Now this the waist is going to come undone, so I need to always be holding this balloon somewhere in some manner while I finish going around those two bubbles to turn them into pinch twists. Now I make a bubble similar to the other one. That's our leg. So the legs are the same size. This is where I need two pinch twists, but I've run out of room. You can let go of the front of the robot now. It will not untwist now that, that these are twisted here and here. Let's see, I really need that pin. Pins will give you a very tiny hole where you can manage to leak air out. Uh, here is a safety pin. I normally keep regular sewing pins in my balloon case to do this, but it just occurred to me that perhaps I should have safety pins. That way I don't have to worry about pins getting popped unexpectedly. Okay, so a little hole gives me a little air leak. I left, I covered immediately it with my thumb, so if air leaves from that hole too quickly, the balloon will bang and explode. But if I just leak air out, then it will hold. Now I just need to get two pinch twists out of this before I run out of air. I've got another bubble. I'm gonna... Now that the air is about out of this section, I'm just pulling and wrapping it around. So these Two pinch twists are the feet of the robot. Now, do you remember this large bubble that we made among all these small pinch twists? That's our um, popping bubble. When I pop this, yes, I close my eyes, I blink. These two pinch twists, the way we made them, actually hold very strong. And now I'm going to center the arms on either side of the two head pinch twists. I'm going to straighten up the body of the robot. Now we just need to draw a face. Okay, I need to really put the black marker. And the largest part of this pinch of this tulip twist I'm going to have pointed towards the front. I'm going to do two circles for the eyes. I'm going to do just a rectangle for the mouth. I colored in a pupil in the eyes. And I'm putting little eyebrows on my robot. You might want to draw some buttons. On his chest plate, draw a little panel on his side, and then if you like, you can get a white paint marker and accent that smile by putting white in there. But I think I've already put, nope, here it is, white paint. I like to use Sharpie, but there is a marker that dries faster than a Sharpie paint marker, and that's Eddings. And it makes a world of difference on your balloon.
makes those buttons and panels that you draw on the robot stand out. So there's a wee little robot. Hello, I'm a robot. I made this robot to go inside a race car for a little five-year-old boy. Try not to play with your robot before the paint is dry. Happy twisting!